Hmm. Boy, oh boy. Hmm. Um, I don't know. I'm feeling myself. I'm feeling myself. It's a cute shade. But will I wear it though? I don't know. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Omo Shadewa. And thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you for clicking on this video to watch. If you're old, if you're new, thank you. I so much appreciate it. So today's video happened by chance. Um, I was sorting out my makeup and I wanted to sort out um, my everyday makeup or regular makeup from the makeup that I film with, from the makeup that I used to use to work as a makeup artist. I happen to find this very old MAC lipsticks laying around. Now, I'm sure I'm not the only one that used to collect MAC lipsticks at some point. And somehow, some way, I just stopped using them. And I think it's like a collective thing. We all stopped using the MAC lipstick. What really happened? I mean, I really don't know what happened because back then, MAC lipsticks were like, precious stones to us girls um it even used to serve as uh, um, conversation starters between girls like hi girl your red lipstick is really really nice is that mac ruby wool 80 percent of the time it's like oh yes that is mac ruby wool. and then the conversation starts and then you just bond over lipstick like how did mac lipsticks go from necessity to forgotten what really happened anyways and at some point i'm like am i sure these things are not expired honestly they're really not expired but even at that i still had to sanitize them just to be safe and just to make sure that i do not add another problem, problem. problem. Another pro in my life outside of this covid what hospital are you going to go to now i'm going to say you have lip infection nobody will answer you so I'm just going to be trying them out. I cannot wait to see the particular shades that I'll be putting back into my personal makeup stash and see the ones that I might finally have to say bye bye to. So let's get right into it. Okay, so I'm just going to start off. These are the ones that I found. They're like about one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The nine. Let's start off trying this one again i'm just going to be picking them randomly this first one is um cyber i'm going to need my glasses did it used to write it here maybe amplified or satin okay this is satin cyber is satin very dark purple really really dark plum and then i'm going to line my lips with the Tara lip liner. Very dark plum as well. Okay. And then here goes Cyber. Hmm. Boy, oh boy. Hmm. Um, I really do not know if this is still me. There was a time this look was my look. Dark purple lips. But <laughs> what do you guys think? I don't know. I really don't know. Um, so this is a satin finish, not matte, not um, glossy, but satin, which is like in the middle. Satin is a little bit glossier than um, a semi-matte. If I were to wear this type of dark lipstick right now, I'd prefer it in a matte version. But so the next lipstick I'm going to try, and like I said, I'm just pulling out randomly. This is Lady Danger. Oh, Lady Danger. <laughs> this is absolutely one of my faves. It's a reddish, um, orangish um, shade. And there was a time I was really, really obsessed with red lipsticks. I still am. Is I think after nude red is my favorite i don't even know which one i prefer between red and nude honestly but there was a time i was obsessed i was literally wearing only red lipsticks and i was trying out different shades different undertones and lady danger was like the one i would always want to go for first because it's like an orangey red and it's so and sometimes it's rare for you to find that very orangey yellowish kind of red that would suit 
like a dark skin like mine but this one home run mm. i'm so excited about this one i'm going to try this one without a lip liner because mm, still applies so well mm, it's just mm, i'm feeling myself i'm feeling myself definitely going back into the personal stash <laughs> definitely baby so the next shade that i'll be trying is snob oh i remember snob snob is like um a lavender light lilac type of shade and this is satin it's a very light and pastel -y kind of shade very light lilac it's um it looks like lavender um, i wouldn't have been wearing this shade back then except maybe i bought it for my makeup work or maybe i used to use it to film back then but i normally would not be wearing this this definitely would need um lip liner okay yeah <laughs> this reminds me of the old um nigerian bridal scene this was what we used to do back then for bridal very dark um purplish kind of lip liner with a color like this this actually feels like a semi matte texture but i can see that it says satin it's a cute shade but will i wear it though i don't know i don't know i don't know honestly this might just go back into the forgotten pouch the jury is still out on that one so the next shade that i'm going to try is relentlessly red i remember this one this is matte this is one of the drying mattes it's like a reddish fuchsia um color let me swatch for you guys it's a very very unique shade so let me just apply this this one is a bit difficult to apply it's really tugging hard on my lips color payoff is not uh, that good I can't remember this lipstick ever being like this. Uh, okay, it's probably a reason why I put it in the forgotten pouch. I, I don't know how to explain. It's a really unique shade. You think like it's fuchsia, but it has like um, somewhat a, a sort of like reddish undertone to it. You can also see like a little bit of purple coming through. So if you're someone that likes um, pink lipsticks, this one, I'm sure you'd like this one because it's very... It's very, very unique. I, I really don't know how to explain it. But application-wise, um, it's not really performing as well as other MAC lipsticks. And it's really matte. I can already feel it drying. And that's one of the issues that I have with some of the very matte MAC lipsticks. Like, they're really, really matte. If you have really dry lips like I do, you're not going to enjoy wearing them at all. So the next one that I'll be trying is in the shade Morange. So this shade is pure orange pure fire this is what it looks like but it's amplified i think this amplified i can't really remember what it means i think maybe it's like an amplified type of satin i think it's glossier than um satin so i'm just going to apply this without the lip liner and see yeah definitely gloss hmm. I think I can definitely work it like this without a lip liner, but let me just line it for line sake. Yeah. Oh yeah. This is definitely making it back into my everyday stash because um I can't not imagine just doing your brows, lining your eyes, putting on lashes, and then working this lipstick is like pow. I love it. And I love the texture as well. Ha! Huh, how did I forget about these lipsticks? Lord have mercy. So the next shade... Oh my god, I'm getting tired. Ah, oh, oldage. <laughs> so the next shade that I'm going to try is... Uh, I can actually see the shade. It's like I used this one a lot. I can only see Amplified. But this looks like Girl Next Door. So this is like um, a fuchsia shade. It's Amplified, so it's like a sheen um texture 
I'm not surprised I used a lot of this because at some point I used to be a very, very purple, obsessed girl. So this is like entry level into the world of crazy purple. This she has like a pink, um, pinkish undertone. This is nice, but will I still wear it now? I'm, I'm just going to put this one aside just to see if it's um, something that I will try again. Next shade that I'm going to try is Candy Yum Yum. Wow, I used to like Candy Yum Yum. Candy Yum Yum is that very neon pink. Like it's a no joke pink, okay? If you are really shy about pink, then no. It's like that Barbie neon pink. Yeah, it's matte as well. I don't think I can get away with this without um, a lip liner. I cannot remember, but let's see oh yeah now i remember why i like candy yum yum because i really i normally do not like pink lipsticks but this has some sort of blue undertone to it that makes it different from a lot of pink lipsticks i feel like if i use this lightly i can get away with it without using a lip liner oh this is such a pretty pink I really do not like pink. I really do not. But this, this might just make it back into my personal stash because it's pink, but then again, it's cute. Wow, I wasn't expecting to like this as much. I'm trying to remember how much I liked it back in the day. But I think I really liked it. The next shade that I'll be using, is the second to the last one, this is Ruby Woo. Hmm. You waited for so long. Ruby Woo is a classic. Ruby Woo needs no introduction. Everybody loves Ruby Woo except Omo Shaliwa. Now, Ruby Woo, I think, is one of the best reds out there for melanin skin because of the blue undertone. It's a very, very pretty red. I cannot deny it. I mean, I'm still in constant search of dupes for Ruby Woo because it looks so good on dark skin it looks so good on my skin but it's so drying ruby Woo cannot last on my lips um it's, it's going to separate it's going to separate up until the point that i might be walking and i'll be in front already and someone will tap me and say auntie your ruby Woo loop is on the floor at the back that's how Far this separation can go. Um, I remember back when I tried everything using a lip balm before, hydrating, lip mask, blah blah blah. This particular review. Ah, look at that color. And because it's matte, the color is so beautiful. I really don't remember it being this difficult to apply. That's the thing with this review. It tempts me all the time. Like, girl, this. I, I always just feel bad whenever I see Ruby Woo or other people when I can't wear it. So the last one is Up The Arm. I really cannot remember this so much. It's lilac, more or less. If my eyes look tired, it's because I haven't slept at all. This is 10.15 um, and I haven't slept. When I say I haven't slept, I haven't slept since yesterday. And this is already 10, 15 in the morning. I don't even need to finish wearing this one before I know that. It's definitely not going into my everyday stash. Because it's, it's not my style. I don't know if it used to be my style years ago. <laughs> but right now, it's not my style. Yeah. Mm-mm. No. Mm-mm. This is going right back to where I picked it up from. So I swatched all nine. Thank you guys so much for staying up until the end with me. So let me know if you do have any old matte lipsticks that you have forgotten about. It'd be nice to hear what shades you think you might start using all over again. And from everything that I swatched, um, I settled on three shades that I think that I'm going to put back into my personal stash. And it's Lady Danger, Morange, and Candy Yum Yum. Now thinking about it, um, I used to love heroin as well. It's not here. I can't find it. I don't know 
where that Ogden went to and then Velvet Teddy now I can't remember oh my god old age god damn I, I think because I'm feeling sleepy <laughs> So thank you guys so much again for watching this video and please if you're yet to subscribe please do subscribe i'm going to put the subscribe button here or here so that you can just click on it and you're just going to be subscribed immediately so thank you guys once again for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye